little angels, come on in, come in. I'm so happy you came by. Everybody, please have a seat. We have lots of seats available. I did bring the hammocks down. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> but one's over there, and I put one over there by the couch. And they'll eat fit, each fit three comfortably, four if you're friendly. The big rocking chair I put by the window, and that'll have two of you. And then I did do some hardback chairs around this table for those like me that have a bad back. And there's meditation cushions for those that want to just flake out and be comfy. And we have the couch and chair turned around so you guys are facing here. Remember, shorter in the front, please. Come on in. I'm so glad that you came. I'm in a very Halloween-y fall mood today. And I have a show and share for you. But we'll get to that. So I lit all my candles. And I'm just feeling very spooky. I'm excited. <laughs> so... First of all, let's get you guys comfortable with refreshments. I have done two today. Not one, but two. Not one, but two. I did do pumpkin spice lattes. I love this mug. It was given to me by Miss Alyssa Jordan. Be kind to all kinds. And yes, you're right. I don't like pumpkin spice. I can't stand nutmeg. But I substitute the nutmeg for cardamom. And I like it. I think it gives it a little bit more spicy zing. And I really like it. So please, we have decaf and regular. Help yourselves. If you absolutely don't like the spice level, I do have regular decaf and leaded. <laughs> okay. So cheers to that. Mm. That's good stuff. And for those that would like a chilled beverage, I have done a pink lemonade. These are sugar-free. Um, it's either sweetened with Splenda or agave. Please help yourselves. And it's strawberry and lemon. And it's so refreshing, guys. Pardon me. Okay. So please help yourselves. Oops, you nearly spilled it. Can't let anything happen to that glass tumbler. I haven't found it anywhere else. So. Hi. I haven't seen you or you. We have new little angels. Guys, say hi. We have new little angels. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. Um, please give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Sharing is caring. And you can silently watch if that's what you're into. No problem. I just like the company. But if you're comfortable commenting, please do. We love the comments on this channel. I love watching you guys interact with each other. I love interacting with you. I like to know what you think and what you feel, your video ideas, your suggestions, all of it. I think it's incredible. And when we connect like that, we take this great big world and go and make it smaller. And isn't that a good thing? Yes, it is. And please hit that subscribe button below. I know I don't pay attention to the numbers. I really don't, guys, unless I drop and then I worry that I've done something wrong. But we're getting in on 32,000. I'd like to hit 35 by January 1st. Can you guys help me out with that, please? And hello, 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 hello to all my returning little angels. I love you guys so much. I appreciate your commitment to my channel, your comforting words, your company. I love knowing you guys are keeping me company and vice versa. So thank you so much for that. Please make sure you're still subscribed. Now, speaking of returning little angels, I was gifted um, three things by returning little angels and I would like to share them with you. I did ask permission and they all said yes. So the first one I wanna share with you is from Elizabeth. Elizabeth Hunt, do me a favor. Will you please email me at angelonmyshoulderasmr at gmail.com with your address. I would like to send you a thank you card. Unfortunately, guys, I'm out of my you are loved cards. I know, I have to get some more, but I would like to send a thank you card. Um, Elizabeth went on my Amazon wish list. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm just, yep, yeah, here it is. Yep. And she got me the smart intentions, and I'm going to show it to you right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
You guys know how much we love our chakras and our crystal videos. I have something else to show you about crystals too. So here is a whole bag of crystals, lots of them. And what I love, especially, there is an identification card, which I love. And these are absolutely gorgeous. And we will be doing something with them in the very, very near future. But I just love this and it tells me the properties too. I'm not gonna go through that right now because I have a video planned, something special. And it also came with the most beautiful bracelet. Look at this, guys. And you know how much I love my purples and my blues. It's like this was made for me. It's absolutely stunning. I wish you could feel it. And I love the different sizes too. It's just so nice. I'm putting it on right now and it's not coming off. And it came with a beautiful necklace with the yin and yang. Isn't that stunning? I love it. I'm actually gonna be doing a hypnotist video with this. So stay tuned. And as if that wasn't all, came with two selenite crystals. And if any of you follow crystal, selenite is very good for charging your crystals, your other crystals. Um, so these are gonna come in very handy. We are gonna do such a crystal video. Ah, I just love it. And I always have to say thank you um, to Ray Moon ASMR because she, I've always loved crystals, but she really got me into them. So thanks for that. And then another thing I got was I got a lovely Halloween card in the mail. Have an enchanted night. And it's sequined and embossed. I love this so much. Have an enchanted night. And it says, sending glowing good wishes for a bright and happy Halloween. I hope you have a spooky good night, you beautiful soul. And she spelled it beautiful. I love that. And this is from Katie in California. Um, she wrote me a lovely, lovely, I think she won't mind if I read it. Dear Auntie Angel, I'm so very glad to have found your channel. Thank you for taking the time to create and share your life and talents. I wish you success and happiness with your goals, dreams, and channel. Kind regards, Katie. Katie, thank you so much, hon, and you will be getting a card in the mail. I love this so much. Thank you so, so much. And then the last gift I received is something very special. And this is from Krish. And Krish, please, you have my email. Please send me your address. I would love to send you a thank you card. She wrote me up, or he, sorry, they wrote me a poem and I'm so touched. I am so touched. I am printing it out and hanging it in the studio. Okay, something slid and I wasn't sure if it was a wasp or something. I'm absolutely terrified of them, guys. All right, so here's the poem. In a quiet room where whispers play, Kim weaves her magic at the end of the day. With gentle tones and a calming hum, she draws us near, making worries succumb. A soft brush dances, a whispering sigh, crinkling pages, the sound of a sigh. The world outside fades, a distant blur in her soothing presence, all hearts concur. Her voice, a melody laced with care, each syllable lingers, floats in the air. Trig tingles awaken, a shiver of bliss. In this tranquil moment, there's nothing amiss. With every trigger, she crafts a cocoon, a safe little space like a warm afternoon. From tapping to crinkly, a world to serene, Kim's ASMR, a sweet, gentle dream. So here's to the artist, the whisperer true. With a heart full of kindness, she knows what to do. In the realm of soft sound, she reigns supreme, guiding us gently into slumber's sweet dreams. Krish, I can't tell you how touched I am. Like this warmed my heart. As my mother would say, the cockles of my soul, it is just warmed. 
thank you so very much and this will be up in my studio very shortly i just have to find a piece of parchment paper to print it on it has to look like that because this is beautiful thank you so very much okay guys so anybody that wants to send me something i will always send you a thank you card back i'm working on getting some more angel medallions i'm out of those too um but they're in the works um, my P.O. box is in the description below. So, so I have a show and share to have today. I have to show you some stuff that I've received, not received, but I've gotten myself. That's last because you guys are going to die laughing when you see this one. So the first thing I got is a Moroccan oil. Now it's supposed to be a color depositing gloss mask, but this one is clear because I don't want any more color, but I love shine. I absolutely love shine. And I love the packaging on this. I just, and please, please, please smell like Moroccan oil. I love the smell of Moroccan oil so much. It does, it does, it does, it does. I have the body oil. No, I have the body lotion, the hair and body mist. I have this. I used to have, oh, and I have the body butter. I used to have the shower gel. It is so thick, it's impossible to get out of the jar. So I'm hoping, maybe I'll thin it down. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm very happy with this. I love the smell of Moroccan oil. Now, this I'm so excited to show you. Where? There should be two pieces. There's one. Oh, here. So, for my Ghost in the Castle series, well, you know, that castle's been around a very long time. And I figure we can have a flapper. I'm going to be a flapper. Boop, boop, be doop. <laughs> so, I got the bracelet and wait till you see this necklace. It's so, to me, this is like 1920s without a doubt. Guys, look at how long these pearl, these pearl necklaces are. There's one, two, three, five, six, seven strands plus the earrings. And it goes, it's quite long. I cannot wait to wear this. I actually am now looking for something, a shift like um, top that I can wear with this. And I'm going to get me or make myself a headband for my flappers outfit. Oh, I'm very excited about that. Um, I do have a few role plays coming up, but I promised myself I could not film any role plays until I got my Christmas stuff organized because it has taken over the office. So today it took me three hours. Um, I don't think anyone will mind if I give a little wee, little wee hint. So shh. We're doing a secret Santa, a bunch of us. Shh, 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 shh. So I got my box ready today for mailing. I, I had to make a box because it just kept getting bigger. So it, that's fine. It's Christmas, right? And then I have a couple packages I wanted to send out to some friends. Um, so I've got three packages I have to ship out. Hopefully I'm doing that this week. Um, I organized all the Christmas wrapping stuff into one corner um so that's good now i have all of my role play costumes laid out there's going to be a flight attendant a flapper um a flight attendant a rapper serenity the witch is my big halloween one cannot wait to film that and um we have two other ghosts in the castle we have the cook and the gardener they both know things can shed some light on our mystery and the curse. So I can't wait to show you guys that. So I'm just going to put this aside. And then Baby Angel and I went to our local mall on the weekend. And I'm going to show the person's card. Um, this is Melissa Feliciano. And she has an Instagram. And she has an Etsy shop. I believe it's my by design. Here we go. 
Oh, wait a minute. Meld by design. Okay. Wait till you see what I got, you guys. You know how much I love my crystals. Well, we've already talked about that. And they were so reasonable. So, so reasonable. First one. exactly what I'm putting on this. I want to get one of those um, jellyfish lamps. I think I put it on my Amazon wish list. Just saying. <laughs> but I want to put it on this. Isn't that gorgeous? I love resin work. I still have not found the time to sit down and learn how to do resin, but I do have all of the um, equipment ready to go, including my mask. Ventilated mask. Because I'll be using resin and epoxy. But look at that. The, the sides are perfect. Those colors are so me. Now, I did say, I did say it was a twofer. So this is the back of the second one. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Serenity will be using this. And I love that it looks like the Starbucks logo. Oh. Bella's being a brat. She's up on the counter and she knows she's not allowed up there. But she knows I'm filming. Isn't this gorgeous? If anybody else is fascinated by this, you need to visit Figbury ASMR. Um, she's a witchy historian. Oh my gosh, are her videos gorgeous. And her voice is so soothing. I'm, I cannot tell you. Oh, and I just love to show her. Crinkles. Now the next one I wanna show you, I got for us ordered it for us. I'm not quite sure how it works yet, but we're figuring it out. But it comes like this. This is clear though, empty, right? And it, you plug it in. Okay. I think I have to get more squares. Okay, so you plug that in. And then here is the frame, the, the glass. That will go inside and it just slides in. I'll slide it right now like that and it lights up and here are the markers. It's an LED and it kind of glows and we're doing this at night one night, especially Halloween. I can draw pictures, we can write messages and then just erase them and I love this whole idea. I think it's going to be incredible um, to do a video using this for us. Um, I'm always on the lookout for stuff for us guys, always. So I think that'll be so much fun. And I'm not saying I'm an artist or anything, but I can draw a few things pretty well and I can teach you how to draw some stuff really quick and easy, especially a dog. I have this great way of showing you how to draw a dog. So I can't wait. What's that, huh? What's for dinner tonight? Oh, well, okay, thank you for asking. I made baked beans. I was going to do a cook with me on them, but they have to start the night before. So I soak them for 24 hours, the navy beans, the dried. Cheat. You don't have to do that if you buy navy beans, okay? Just buy a can of navy beans. Rinse them really well, and I still boil them. I don't boil them for the hour and a half that I boiled these ones, but I do boil them for about 45 minutes just to make sure they're nice and soft. You don't want hard baked beans. And then I, in my little, I have a little tiny um, Dutch oven because I'm just making enough for Uncle Angel and I for a couple days. Um, my father used to love baked bean sandwiches. Has anyone ever had that? Or I think he was the only one. He also liked just the navy beans with a lot of pepper and a slice of onion and made a sandwich out of that. Yeah. So I just sauteed up some bacon 
cut up and uh, one onion chopped up. Some people add peppers and I like mine pretty basic. And then the sauce is just ketchup, molasses, uh, red wine vinegar. I throw in some Pepsi. I had an open bottle of Pepsi, I threw that in. It has to be regular. Pepsi, Coke, Dr. Pepper, whatever you want. Um, you need the sugar. And, and then a bunch of beef broth. Put the beans back in that had been drained from, you have to drain your beans. You have to drain them after the first soak. Um, my mother would tell you that gets out the farts. And I drain them after they've um, boiled as well. And then everything goes back in that pot. Give it a good stir and pop it in the 300 oven for anywhere from three to six hours, whatever you have time for. I like to cook it with the lid off because I like a thick bean. I don't like my sauce to drizzle. Okay, but that's just me. It's just easy peasy. And I'm going to be doing a video. I asked people if they wanted it and people too. Setting up your home or um, easy tips and tricks to make your life a little easier. Um, kind of like for those of you that know Eloise. Okay, it's probably before your time. Never mind. Or the fly lady. Yeah, before your time. Okay. Anyways, it's going to be Auntie Angel. And I'm just going to teach you what you actually need in your kitchen. Your basics. Um, how to take some shortcuts to save yourself some time and still have things turn out really well. How to clean so that you're not going, oh, I hate cleaning day. I still hate cleaning day. But, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm going to let you in on a little laundry secret. It's my dirty little secret. But I'll show you that later. Anyways, that's coming up next week or the week after. Yes, I know. Okay, this is for me. Well, for us. It's for us. But this is going to be part of a video. What are my two favorite things? Besides you guys, I mean material things. I just need another set. Oh, that's good. That's so creamy. That's right. I love crystals and I love purses. Well, when I saw these, how could I resist? Crystal purses! Crystal purses. Oh my gosh, I got six of them. So I know this one's a tiger eye. Look at this. I think I'm going to string them and maybe hang them in the studio. Not sure yet, but look at the detail. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I don't know. The, I know this is a obsidian obsidian isn't that beautiful it looks very gucci doesn't it or very chanel this looks very chanel this one i want to say topaz we're going with it for now you didn't get to choose them they just came so and i don't even care if they're not real because i love them they're crystal purses i mean come on amethyst for all my February babies out there. It's amazing how many um, Aquarians and Pisces that are, I have in my life. Okay. This one I think is green adventuring. I know. Ray, Ray Moon, if you're watching, you let me know which one's your favorite and it's on its way. And then this one is, I'm not sure. I'm calling it lapis lazuli. I love lapis lazuli. I know it's not. Don't write to me. I know it's not. <laughs> but I do love it. I love the blue in lapis lazuli. I'm probably saying it wrong, but isn't that beautiful? I mean, come on. Crystal purses. Come on. <laughs> so thank you so, so much. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel and I'll never, never be any good. Sorry. I know I said I wouldn't sing anymore. I'm so. I have the soul of a singer. I have the brain of a singer. Nobody told my vocal cords. I am so bad at it. <laughs> but I love it. 
I listen to Lori sing Lori Latte. She's one of the greatest singers. Her and Kira, Kira ASMR, they are such good singers. Oh, I just love them. I just love them. Okay, guys, so that's the video for today. Thanks for keeping me company and for being here with me. I so appreciate all of you, and I'm glad that you took the time out of your day to be with me because I love you, and I value you, and I honor you, and I am so very, very glad that each and every one of you was born.